good morning uh, everybody i am coming from india my name is vikas deshmukh i belong to reliance industries limited i am coming from a background basically uh, almost carrying 27 years of experience in process industry and some uh, four and a half years of uh, service industry so my primary uh, engagement has already uh, mostly been uh, with refining and petrochemical sector and uh, where the hydrocarbon processing is involved so with me uh, uh, we have uh, ramesh rajaram who has spent a good amount of time uh, from our uh, refining uh, operations and now refining uh, as well as uh, petrochemical sites and mr uh, arif said uh, so those uh, who are accompanying me and uh, those who helped me in building this presentation so there are few uh, slides uh, which uh, i uh, need to which i will quickly go through uh, which basically uh, cover uh, reliance industries uh, history so dhirubhai ambani who has been a founder of uh, reliance uh, industries and uh, this is how the reliance industry grew from uh, 1966 uh, that is uh, basically a textile mill in naroda that is in gujarat state of maharashtra and uh, i can uh, highlight a few milestone and uh, the important uh, points in uh, reliance uh, journey uh, where uh, reliance stand today and it is not only a hydrocarbon processing industry and uh, a lot of diversification took place uh, 1982 uh, reliance uh, uh, got into this uh, filament plant in uh, patal ganga then uh, 1982 there is a uh, Uh, another significance uh, that we came with our first uh, ipo in uh, when this uh, reliance industry got listed on uh, uh, this uh, bombay stock exchange then uh, 1999 uh, that's uh, one of the largest uh, refinery in the world uh, today at a single location this uh, 1999 we built our first refinery now today we have two refineries there with a huge capacity and uh, 2009 uh, we uh, got into this uh, upstream that is uh, kgd6 uh, that's for gas production uh, then uh, 2000 and in between you can see there have been uh, so many uh, uh, petrochemicals ac uh, acquisition as well and uh, some uh, new uh, business expansions so today 2018 uh, we have uh, jamnagar phase 3 uh, that is in gujarat and uh, we after two uh, huge refineries we are going for a huge petrochemical complex and we have recently implemented a c2 complex and paraxylene 4 and uh, now our gasifiers are and uh, getting commissioned so this is the latest update from uh, reliance uh, uh, then uh, it is one of the largest private sector enterprise in india and uh, you can see here uh, in terms of the figures uh, in terms of uh, turnover it's uh, and uh, the span of operation uh, refining and uh, petrochemicals oil and gas uh, 2007 we also ventured in uh, retail and uh, last few years we have been in uh, geo that is uh, digital services uh, Uh, we started and we are now getting into media and uh, entertainment as well so uh, this is the span of operation which i just uh, briefed uh, and uh, the this slide gives uh, uh, basically the significance uh, uh, over each of the sector uh, refining and uh, petrochemicals uh, exploration and production uh, retail digital services and media and entertainment so this is uh, basically where we stand in terms of uh, leadership and uh, work culture uh, then uh, 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 where this uh, uh, digital services are concerned uh, refining and marketing petrochemicals and oil and gas uh, so this is uh, reliance is uh, uh, many our, of our customers say uh, this is one of the successful backward integration because uh, you just uh, Uh, so that uh, we started with uh, polyester and uh, with a vertical uh, 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 integration uh, we 
uh, went up to this uh, oil and gas. Uh, so it is a basically a journey from, uh, in terms of uh, hydrocarbon, I can tell it is a uh, polyester, it's a raw material, uh, PTA, uh, MEG, then uh, naphtha, then oil refining and uh, uh, gas, that is oil and gas. So this covers the entire uh, life cycle with respect to hydrocarbon. So uh, now coming to, I'm com coming slowly to the topic that is on hydrocarbon, how extensively we are using uh, uh, this uh, sigma fine for our hydrocarbon processing plants. Uh, so these are the major plants uh, and you can see geographically uh, how they are located. Jamnagar is one of the largest uh, manufacturing uh, division which comprises of uh, refinery and petrochemical plants, uh, uh, Hazira. Uh, it is basically petrochemicals, polymers, and uh, polyester plants. Dahej, uh, uh, petrochemical, polymer, and polyester. Uh, Nagotne, same, uh, petrochemical and polymer. And then uh, Pataliganga, we have petrochemical and uh, uh, polyester plants. And uh, Vadodara, this is also uh, petrochemical and polymer again. So uh, this is how our uh, uh, Reliance uh, overall hydrocarbon uh, business is uh, organized. You can see upstream and uh, downstream. Downstream, we, uh, you can see here refining and petrochemicals. These uh, green blocks basically show uh, wherein we have implemented uh, these uh, sigma fine hydrocarbon accounting systems. So uh, we basically believed uh, uh, that in order to manage uh, we have to control, and in order to control, we have to ma uh, measure. So with this theme, we started our uh, journey uh, engagement with uh, Sigma, Sigma Fine. It's uh, 1999, uh, we bought our uh, Sigma Fine software, and when uh, Sigma Fine was under KBC umbrella that time. So this is uh, today's agenda with respect to hydrocarbon accounting and uh, to what extent we have uh, exploited uh, sigma fine uh, from, uh, for our day-to-day -day hydrocarbon accounting purpose. So uh, the interestingly, uh, today's uh, theme uh, and uh, uh, in this forum, start of the forum, there's uh, uh, conditioning data for digitalization. Today, everybody is talking about uh, digitalization. And this is what our uh, chairman uh, of Reliance Industries believe in. So we uh, uh, that believe that data is a new oil for the fourth industrial revolution. The foundation of the fourth industrial revolution is connectivity and data. data is is the new natural resource. So we are at the beginning of an era where data is a new oil. So, uh, and uh, as far as the theme of uh, this uh, forum is uh, concerned, is uh, so it is not data, but even conditioned data. I would say it is more valuable than oil. So uh, digitalization changes everything because uh, data is the primary source of uh, input uh, for uh, digitalization. And uh, digitalization, uh, I will just uh, give a quick uh, overview of what we are doing at, uh, as a part of uh, digital transformation uh, at uh, Reliance. Uh, so uh, we uh, started with a few business objectives or based on the uh, challenges hydrocarbon industry is uh, facing today. So if you could see uh, overall uh, globally, uh, these are primarily the challenges which uh, almost uh, each and every hydrocarbon industry Industry is uh, facing. Uh, first is the uh, integration of a uh, whole uh, supply chain. The reason being, uh, 2010, uh, we started our uh, business transformation. It was uh, application uh, basically ended up with uh, application for, uh, portfolio realignment. But what is impo important is integration of uh, the entire manufacturing uh, supply chain and. Uh, in order to ha achieve that uh, vision, what we are currently uh, working on is a platform that is uh, IT and uh, OT, which will have a, uh, both the IT and OT will converge together and uh, uh, that will help us to achieve our goal of uh, uh, integrating the whole uh, supply chain. Then uh, second is uh, abnormal situation management. Uh, this is uh, because uh, hydrocarbon process, uh, processing plants, the one of the biggest challenge 
change is a safety and operation risk management. From that perspective, uh, we are working on big data analytics and this uh, platform thing is going to help us and uh, to our, because finally the operator who is uh, operating the plant, uh, so he need to operate the plant safely. That is what we believe in. And uh, secondly, uh, the next point is operation, operator driven reliability. So uh, I just spoke about uh, safety and uh, operation risk, uh, then uh, reliability of the assets uh, where these hydrocarbons are getting uh, processed. So we are currently uh, working with some uh, proof of concept and even a uh, uh, couple of units we have already implemented that is uh, operator handhelds uh, where our uh, field operators can uh, take rounds uh, with the digital handsets in their hand uh, and uh, while taking the round any abnormality they found, they can immediately enter data and uh, that gets historized in our historians. Then uh, next is uh, one of the biggest challenge uh, most of the uh, industry, uh, hydrocarbon plants they are facing is a competency assurance of uh, frontline operating staff. And uh, here uh, we are currently working on uh, augmented reality and virtual re reality and uh, digital twins because the uh, technology which uh, uh, recently evolved uh, uh, is uh, most of the plants uh, now are recently implemented. Uh, I talked about C2 complex gasifier plants. We have 3D plant, uh, digital 3D models available. So now we have started giving, uh, uh, making a programs for our frontline operators uh, wherein uh, they can take uh, undergo uh, their uh, training programs in a 3D virtual plants so that uh, they get a full awareness of the plants before they are put into actual uh, uh, operation of the plant. So that gives a real uh, visualization of the plants and uh, uh, this is we believe is important from the safety and uh, operation risk as well. Secondly, as we are growing our operations, it's a refinery, it's almost uh, 20 years we have been uh, operating and a large amount of uh, data is uh, growing. And from that perspective, uh, old data also need to be uh, referred uh, whenever some uh, new incidents happens or uh, something uh, is required from a decision support perspective. So from that perspective, uh, this, uh, we are doing some pilots uh, from uh, using uh, cognitive computing. Uh, so here uh, we have not uh, yet chosen our technology solution partner yet, but uh, we are doing some pilots with a uh, few technology partners. So finally the aim is uh, we believe that uh, digital makes this excellence uh, operational and uh, that is uh, really important. Uh, that is the uh, real uh, difference uh, and uh, differentiate uh, digital is going to be a really a uh, differentiator because uh, uh, it is really going to make uh, operations uh, hassle free. The best example is uh, Uber and uh, uh, another is uh, Ola, I think that is an Indian operator who has really brought in a revolution in uh, this uh, because uh, just I remember old days uh, f five years back uh, uh, booking a car was uh, really a hassle uh, in uh, India but uh, with uh, entry of uh, Uber and with the dig digitalization today and it is a uh, completely hassle free with a few button clicks uh, this uh, taxi and driver is in front of me. So that is the type of uh, digitalization we are envisioning for the hydrocarbon, in hydrocarbon processing plants as well. So uh, yeah, this is what the simplified view of our uh, vision uh, with a digital platform in place. Uh, what we see that uh, we'll be able to plan uh, our uh, operations, uh, we will be able to safely operate our plants, then effectively uh, will help us to monitor the plants and at the same time we'll be able to continuously improve. That is what the operation excellence uh, we call it and uh, overall all entire operations we should be we will be in a position to govern this is what the digitalization vision we have set for our uh, hydrocarbon plants and manufacturing so uh, now coming to uh, sigma fine history i uh, just at the start of my uh, uh, presentation i introduced uh, arif and ramesh uh, so i request arif uh, to give a uh, history uh, so Arif is uh, carrying more than 10 years of experience uh, and he has been with uh, service industry and uh, process industry. And uh, I request you to Arif to give a yeah. presentation okay. on this. Uh, 
How Hello, you... good morning all. Uh, thank you for listening to me. So, uh, I'm going to present here a Sigma Fine history at Alliance. Uh, we started uh, building refinery in 98 and we bought our first Sigma Fine software in the year 99 uh, from the KBC. Then uh, we implemented, with the help of uh, Sigma Fine experts, uh, in the year 2002, we gone live. This is the first refinery, which is we call a DTA. The next refinery, a second refinery, which is a SZ, uh, with the help of in-house expertise, we implemented and we went live in 2009. After that, uh, we had a one exercise uh, throughout the Reliance, which is a business transformation. In the business transformation, we did a single apl application should be implemented at each Reliance site. So uh, if you see here, we have a total five, uh, the cracker, basically the ethylene cracker uh, uh, manufacturing sites, and we have implemented Sigma Fine 3 in the year 2013. So uh, if you see the here uh, business objective, so basically we are continuously focusing on the loss management, we are minimizing the losses, the production accounting, then uh, the optimization, and uh, the Sigma Fine is uh, mostly used in the instrumentation maintenance program, which we have uh, being done by uh, almost 10 to 15 years back. Then there are some uh, regulatory compliance, and uh, we are doing some uh, uh, studies on the benchmarking as well. Yeah. If you see here, uh, the Sigma Fine data flow uh, will be getting all data from the the process plant uh, to the historian. And uh, we have uh, our inbuilt software, which is a production accounting system. So as we are talking about data conditioning, so all our conditioning data is available for Sigma Fine at the production accounting system. And from there, we are getting uh, in the Sigma Fine and we are pushing back the reconciled data to that system only. So that system basically serves as a uh, third party system or the integrator for the external world. So that was our in-house data flow for the Sigma Fine. Uh, if you see here, it's a big model, basically. Sigma Fine uh, DTA refinery, it almost consists of uh, 15,000 plus elements. So it's a, one of the largest integrated complex with the petrochemical plus gasification. So. We, we have a hydrocarbon models as well as utilities models. If you know, if you see here, there are two hydrocarbon models for the two refineries and 10 for the utilities. We have built the water models, uh, airs, nitrogen, then uh, BFW as well, as well as the power models. So I guess this is the one of the uh, largest model which we had from uh, PIMSoft as well when we started building this model. The next one is a Sigma Fine petrochemical business. Uh, we got a five petrochemical crackers, like uh, gas, naphtha, and now we are uh, cracking ethane as well. So this is all element counts, it's available. We got hydrocarbon as well as uh, utility models. So the next slide, yeah. So Sigma Fine data consumers. So as uh, most of the things, like all are from the process industry background, so you guys might be knowing like the main data consumers is the uh, operation, then finance and accounting, and the planning scheduling, and uh, what you call the instrumentation guys. Okay, okay so the here uh, the slide tells about a story before Sigma Fine, and I'll cover after Sigma Fine as well. So whenever we, uh, before Sigma Fine, since we already commissioned our plant in the year 99, uh, in the 2000 time frame, so we, it's very difficult to close the daily mass balance. It was taking too much time, many manpowers involved. And then uh, there was uh, always a manual intervention happening, due to which there was no agreement between the two process units, like suppose I am receiving anything from the crude units, and the downstream SSC guys are telling, no, this is the wrong data you are providing me. So that was always a, a disagreement between the two units. Then there was no kind of, like any kind of KPIs available uh, to track the complete performance of the process or uh, plants. Um, 
And the four most important thing, there was no losses. We are uh, like uh, finding out the losses from the process unit. So it's very difficult to trace the losses, which plant is generating how much losses and all. So before Sigma Fine, the data lacked accuracy. Then when we implement a Sigma Fine, so you see that uh, we have our material balances based on the standard data reconciliation platform, which is a Sigma Fine. Uh, data fine solver, then uh, there will be, we are performing uh, daily mass balances, then we have some KPI build, and it's very uh, easy and possible to us to do the daily and monthly balances. So controlling unaccounted losses and ensuring robust mass balance. So after that, uh, after implementation of Sigma Fine, uh, we have find out the, the losses as well. So if you know, like this is the Sigma Fine three symbol, now it's moved to this. So still we remember, like uh, right now we are using this Sigma Fine three as well, and uh, we started migration. So in Sigma Fine migration, uh, almost uh, for the our Jamnagar refineries for the biggest model, we already migrate uh, already migrated in the year 2017. Now, uh, what are the reasons? Uh, because see, Sigma Fine 3 is still a very good application because currently we are using it. So what limits to migrate? So that is the reason here uh, we have uh, written down uh, because Sigma Fine 3 is already discontinued by the PIMSoft. And uh, if you see, uh, that is working on the XP platform, which is absolute in 2004 some, somewhere by the Microsoft. Uh, there is some limitation on the canvas size drawing because we are not able to uh, build uh, more plants in the canvas because our site is ever, ever growing. We, we have a uh, phase one for the DTA, then Jamnagar refinery for the second refinery, then we got petrochemical complex, then we have now gasification. So uh, there's uh, some uh, uh, limitation on the space. Then there was no access control and the data security. So. That are the reasons for the migration. So now uh, the remaining uh, slides, I'm going to invite Vikasar again to, to go through the remaining slide. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you, Arif. Uh, Arif and uh, Ramesh, uh, they have say, spent a good amount of time in uh, Sigma Fine day-to-day -day, uh, support and uh, for all our uh, refining and uh, petrochemical uh, business. And uh, uh, this uh, year 2017, what Arif just uh, mentioned, uh, we started our uh, migration project uh, because earlier version three was becoming uh, limiting uh, in terms of uh, hardware and then uh, again access control and uh, security issues. So we talked to Sigma Fine uh, experts and uh, we uh, invited uh, pr proposal for going for uh, migration and uh, that's what uh, and uh, this uh, uh, March 2018 uh, we completed for our largest uh, refining and petrochemical complex this uh, migration activity and this is what the uh, success uh, story of uh, Sigma Fine uh, migration from version 3 to version 4.6.7. So we had uh, several challenges uh, in terms of, because we already had uh, two refineries in uh, place and um, we had uh, integrated the, because as a part of uh, cost optimization, uh, uh, a lot of gases uh, were uh, going to flare and in order to have saving on that, we built a C2 complex uh, and that is uh, one of the most uh, innovative uh, uh, technology uh, solution from process uh, perspective and that uh, as a part of Jamnagar phase 3 uh, project and uh, 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 while uh, current refinery plants are operating and we uh, integrated the new upcoming plants with the existing refinery that we uh, experienced a lot of challenge during implementation and then uh, uh, and that was uh, managed by having a parallel run in uh, Sigma Fine 3 and Sigma Fine 4 to validate the reconciled results. There was a knowledge sharing between the teams uh, because uh, one team was working on refinery one, another team was working on refinery two, uh, team three was working on uh, this uh, uh, C2 complex uh, model and this was uh, has set a good example of uh, teamwork. 
Then uh, uh, in terms of highlights, uh, I can uh, say here that it was one of the speediest uh, migration between uh, two refineries and uh, overall it took uh, uh, almost uh, five to six months of uh, time. And uh, if you look, uh, you, because we uh, showed you the numbers, uh, uh, the number of objects uh, and the complexity of uh, and our capacity of the plants. Uh, so we feel this was one of the speediest uh, mi migration. And we went live uh, without any uh, downtime with available resources. Uh, and uh, this uh, I would uh, say with uh, uh, pride that uh, we are uh, having a model which runs on daily basis and on day to day basis uh, all data is uh, goes to uh, get transferred to our uh, ERP system uh, and uh, wherein on daily basis uh, and uh, weekly basis, we have a complete visibility in terms of uh, gross, gross refinery margin, where we stand yesterday, we made a profit, yesterday we made a loss. So that Sigma Fine has been very useful for you know, giving a complete visibility. Yeah, so uh, now I need to, uh, uh, I'm going to close uh, quickly. I have only few slides uh, left uh, uh, and um, this, uh, we were able to integrate with the existing system faster and smoother migration. Then uh, uh, this is what uh, December 2017 we completed and as of now today uh, for rest of the five petrochemical sites uh, I showed you that uh, Dahej, Nagotne, Patalanga, Vadodara and Hazira. We are currently migrating all these version 3 Sigma Fine models to version 4.6.7 and we uh, expect uh, those to get completed by December 2018. It's only a few weeks back we completed training program for uh, at Houston for our uh, all of our site engineers. And these are the benefits we realized uh, uh, after uh, Sigma Fine upgrade at our uh, refinery site in March 2018. So this is a reduction of time, improved reconciliation analysis, uh, then uh, multi, uh, now users are getting a better multi-user environment, uh, enhancement in user access and control, elimination of uh, manual steps, uh, restriction on manual interventions, and a new Sigma Fine Excel add-in, which is uh, proving useful in making ad hoc reports. Uh, then ease of integration with third, system, uh, third party system, integration framework, which is the new element which uh, they, uh, PIMSOFT brought in in the overall architecture. So uh, if you ask uh, what are the lessons uh, learned in the entire journey of almost 18 years, uh, 19 years of Sigma Fine operation. So we started with uh, one thing in mind that we, sh we have to automate everything. That with this uh, in uh, mindset, uh, thinking in mind, uh, so that uh, helped us to build a good uh, functional uh, specification. Then uh, team put uh, efforts in a lot of documentation, generating templates, we which were useful for now for whatever work done for refinery that is proving useful for us in petrochemical plant migration which we are doing. Then uh, secondly what is important is uh, bringing these IT teams and uh, modeling teams and process units uh, at the early stage of the project that is very very important that also helps in expediting your implementation. Then uh, effective and timely project management uh, that we are really uh, realizing today for all five, five sites together uh, we are going for the Sigma file uh, model upgradation and uh, how important the project management uh, is that is or uh, we are really uh, learned uh, as a part of this uh, implementation. Then uh, build a strong operating model for sustenance. This is one of the most important point we feel because uh, many times when we completed implementation in two, uh, year 2002 uh, and that time uh, who should own this Sigma Fine model? Who should operate this model? There was a big debate uh, and whether it should be our uh, finance and compliance team or whether it is a technical technical services or process technologist or it is an operation team who should run this model. And we solve this uh, by uh, giving a responsibility to uh, central technical services team. And it's uh, last 18 years this model has been uh, proven successful and uh, we are getting benefits out of that. So uh, now uh, coming to uh, the closure, so we also have some wish list for uh, PIMSOFT uh, here. 
and uh, we are seeing uh, i gave you some examples on our digitalization initiatives we uh, started and uh, few things which i would like to mention here we have already started our work on uh, platform manufacturing platform so and uh, it is not only pimsoft we are talking to several other vendors who are providing their services for various uh, applications uh, and fun business functions so capability to host model on cloud based platform so this is going to be uh, one of the important thing uh, uh, in the near future then a web based uh, user interface i think you already talked about and you are working towards that then uh, mobility uh, today our end users uh, they are talking i am um, uh, stuck to my uh, desktop here i have to go to my desktop so mobility and uh, today uh, our uh, hr as a part of uh, and the new generation they are demanding yes i would uh, i want to run model from a web interface i can sit anywhere inside the plant and i should be able to execute and uh, uh, transfer the model now it is going to be a matter of only half an hour one hour job why should i be uh, st uh, get uh, stuck to my uh, desktop all the time then another thing is a dashboard and reporting solution in fact uh, you have already a uh, new version 4.6.7 you already introduced uh, i think a reporting solution into but uh, when we uh, look at the overall visibility of uh, from manufacturing perspective uh, i would uh, suggest uh, that uh, it is important to have its own dashboard wherein uh, all the kpis key performance ind uh, indices are very important uh, and those uh, can be taken to because sap has their own uh, dashboards because those are primarily looked at by our directors and uh, chairman so there uh, it can be uh, these uh, all the kpis can be simply taken and this calculation need to happen only in the base system that's what we believe so this is what uh, uh, completion of uh, my uh, presentation uh, thanks arif and uh, ramesh uh, for uh, contributing this and i am thankful to roberto and team for inviting uh, reliance uh, here for this presentation it is great great pleasure for us